Manage the upkeep of your property with the RMS Job Maintenance Module. Routine and one-off maintenance tasks can be assigned to units of accommodation or non-lettable items referred to as assets. Before you can begin using the Job Maintenance Module, you will need to undertake some setup and configuration. Assets and asset types refer to buildings, spaces and equipment that are not used as bookable accommodation that need attention from time to time. Start the setup process with asset types by going to Setup, Assets and then choose Asset Types. Enter as many asset types as you can think of for now. Think of these as groupings of assets. Further refine these groupings into sub-asset types if necessary. For example, in my workshed I have lots of equipment for looking after the grounds. I've grouped them into three sub-asset types called cleaning, gardening and landscaping equipment. Now I can go into assets and add the individual items into the groups entering as much detail as necessary to efficiently manage the assets. Note that even though assets by definition are non-lettable items, they can be associated to a room. For example, a television set is considered to be an asset but may well be located within another asset such as the games room or in a unit of accommodation. Rooms and room types also need to be configured in the system before you can assign maintenance tasks. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll assume this has already been done. Job types are groupings of the various maintenance tasks that will be allocated to rooms and assets. Job types help in the classification allocation and reporting of jobs. Go to Setup, Lookup Tables, Job Types and choose Add. Remember you can come back later and add, edit or delete these settings as circumstances change. Next, enter service providers. These are the people or companies that will carry out the maintenance tasks. Go to Setup, Event Management, Service Providers. Enter the details of the service provider. If this is a group of staff members, such as an internal department or an external company, you may wish to add the contact details of individual staff members below. So that you can see this service provider, when logging a job, choose Job Maintenance as the service provider type. Finally, the Job Maintenance module includes the option, if required, to charge others for the tasks performed. Before you can charge for a maintenance task, you will need to add one or more associated sundry charges. Go to Setup, Accounting, Sundries. Add any sundries that you'll need to charge back the costs for performing maintenance. This is something you could do later if and when the need ever arises. You're now ready to start entering maintenance jobs. When you've finished your setup, go to part two of this tutorial, Adding Jobs.